Hi, everyone. Really excited to have a couple minutes to chat with you today. Uh, Marie and I wanted to jump on and say thank you to everyone who has given to the Give Big Pittsburgh uh, effort so far today. We're at nearly $15,000, which is only $5,000 away from our goal. Wow, that's really great. Thank you, everybody. We so much appreciate all your help and um, the benefits that will be provided to those living with ALS and their families will be tremendous. Marie, why don't you tell, for those who haven't used our equipment loan program before, um, we're talking a lot about that with our end of year campaign and the Give Big campaign in particular today, but um, we highlighted some of the items that were used by families, but can you tell people a little bit about how the program works and maybe why it's important? Yeah, so one of the things that we focus on our loan closet is those items that aren't covered by insurance. And a lot of people don't understand that there are many things and equipment that people need that just insurance doesn't cover. Something like the portable power wheelchair, the sit to stand lift and the lift work. Some of the items that Annette talked about in the video, um, those are items that we provide through our loan closet. We do not charge individuals. We do not bill insurances. They're on loan for, to individuals for as long as they need them. That's great. Yeah, and you make a good point. There's a great video um, following Hugh and Annette, um, and I would encourage folks to take a few minutes and watch that. It's on the Give Big site, um, and you can get an insight of how just one family was impacted by the equipment loan program. They had used over five different pieces from us, um, and there are hundreds of families that are using the, the loan program each year. Um, one of the things I think is really remarkable is we're shooting for $20,000 uh, today, which would uh, cover the cost of about 50 ramps into somebody's home, which Marie, you know all too well, that can be the difference between somebody actually being able to leave their home or not. Um, and also it could cover the cost of about 15 light riders or those portable electric wheelchairs um, that folks want to use. But I, I think that, that you know we're so appreciative of what people are doing today. Um, just $5,000 left. And as, as I mentioned, or maybe you've seen uh, online, uh, there's a match going on and there's still $2,500 left. So what that really means is we only need to raise $2,500 more by the end of today and another $2,500 we matched. And we'll get to that $20,000 goal, which will help us to fill the gap. Um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a weird year and everyone's experiencing a little bit of difficulty and um, we're lucky that we're in good shape, but we wanna try to get our, our fundraising back up to the levels that we were expecting it to be. So this can, be, this can make a real difference for us. Um, well, anyways, uh, Marie, uh, any last thoughts about this, about how this might help families uh, in the near term? No, I, again, um, what I'd like to say is every little bit helps and allows us to help people become more independent. You mentioned the ramps, um, allows people to get in and out of their homes. And, um, you know, that's, that's one of the major goals of the programs is to help with the independ independence for those living with ALS. Right. Agreed. Excellent. Well, hey, everyone at home, if you haven't had a chance to give yet, you still have a chance until 11.59 p.m. to give and have that gift matched. Um, we're really looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, thank you to everyone who has already given. We appreciate it so much. We really couldn't do this without your generous support. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye.